made it pretty far, all things considered. Thanks for your applause. Still, every time I close the door and another won't open, I get this panic that my life is now on pause. The dark gets cleared, the board's been cleaned. There's nothing left on my screen. The plate is empty, so it seems. Now is the time to ask, okay. What's next? This was fun while it lasted Nothing comes to the basket So I really like to know What's next? Around the corner, down the street Whatever's meant for me to be I'm waiting for it anxiously So tell me please What's next? beautiful worlds of ours. This is Metaphysical Mocha Mondays. I am your host, Mark Lanehart, the Intuitive Prospector. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me this morning. A uh, little bit of Mercury retrograde going on, trying to get everything. Uh, it's funny, my mouse did not want to connect for some reason. It had a, a mind of its own, and it's hard to navigate when your mouse isn't working. So just want to say good morning to you. Uh, wherever you may be, thanks for uh, following uh, the show, uh, the work that I do. And I love that song because it, it really is about what's next. And this morning I'm going to be talking about uh, what I call the 25-5 rule. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an exercise based on uh, emotional intelligence. And it's something to help you um, avoid distraction, achieve more focus, and get more done in your journey and in your life. So before we begin, though, I want to let everybody know that there are a couple events coming up. So let me just uh, put that in the um, uh, Facebook section for you here. Uh, let me see here again. If I'm pausing, it's because Mercury retrograde. And for those of you that follow Mercury retrograde, like myself, as a uh, as a uh, spiritualist and as a psychic and as a metaphysical teacher, you know that. Um, Mercury retrograde impacts technology, communications, travel. Uh, you know, it's going to go on until October 18th. So really just allow yourself more patience, more, maybe some more breath exercises, more meditations. And um, where is the Facebook page? There is the Facebook page. Okay, so let's see if we can get to the Intuitive Prospector page. So before we begin, let's move into uh, what I like to call the magic in the moment. Take a nice deep breath with me. 
grab your coffee, grab your tea. As we dare to dream, dare to explore, dare to live and discover that diamond within. Today I'm wearing my tree of life. Uh, as above, so below. Uh, you can see that right behind me. That's my banner. That's what I believe, as above, so below. And this morning, we're going to be talking about the 25-5 rule. It's something that I learned. Uh, I'm not sure if I learned it when I was in the Coast Guard or if I learned it uh, in college, because I know I had to write a, a bunch of papers on um, time management. And the 25-5 rule is something that I've used for many years now because I'm so goal-oriented and in you know, um, I'm kind of like, uh, kind of re remind when I saw the play Hamilton, I'm kind of like Alexander Hamilton uh, in that, it, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, run I'm writing like I'm running out of time. My shows, my articles, my readings, my work, uh, because I know that, you know, I have another journey ahead of me, and that's what we call death and dying. Nothing to be scared of. I totally respect death. I don't fear it. I respect it. But it's like I want to get as much as done as I can here. Uh, in this world, whether, like I said, you know, I've got, you know, seasons of uh, metaphysical mocha Mondays, spiritual takeout, um, uh, six seasons of Inspired Living Radio with, you know, just different podcasts talking about different uh, subjects, different teachers. Uh, we're going to have some really great guests on this month of October. Happy October to you. I can't believe it's already October. Um, where is my intuitive prospector page? It's out there somewhere on Facebook. It's interesting with Facebook. I don't know if any of you guys out there watch 60 Minutes, but it looks like Facebook's in a lot of trouble. So a lot of uh, whistleblower came forward and what they're doing with social media, which I've been talking about for a couple of years. It's dividing people. It's promoting negativity and fear. There's the intuitive prospect page. Okay. So I'm just going to put my events page uh, on there, uh, and we'll be over – uh, here in a little bit, we'll be uh, doing the, uh, today we're going to call it the Encouragement Cafe. So it used to be the Healing Cafe, but I've decided to change depend depending on how I'm feeling and what's going on with society. And I think we could all use a little bit of encouragement with everything that we're seeing from what I call politics, pride, to the pandemic. Uh, and so today I'm going to call it the Encouragement Cafe. Yes, uh, last week we had some, uh, some of my students on with me, which was a lot of fun. They did a great job, both Reg and, and Rosie. Uh, doing readings, and we were on for quite some time, and we were, uh, we called that the Compassion Cafe. So I will be call it is a cafe, it's just I'm not sure what I'm going to call it until I actually get into it. But today we're going to call it the Encouragement Cafe, because I believe that we could, we could all use a little encouragement, right? So the 25, um, the 25 five rule I'm going to get to in just a second, but just because we're in retrograde right now, just as a reminder, for those of you that don't know what Mercury Retrograde is, it's a philosophy and an astrology um, uh, awareness of our external world. Uh, we went retrograde uh, in 20, uh, September 27th, and we're going to go through this till uh, October 18th, and then we'll see a lessening of the energy until about October 31st or Halloween, which I'll be doing a mediumship event on um, Halloween, a meet and greet uh, with my uh, colleague who will be on later this month. And uh, we're going to also be doing a demonstration in November, so looking forward to that. But, uh, you know, a few good reminders. If you're not familiar with Mercury Retrograde, go to the Farmer's Almanac, the original Farmer's Almanac from 17-something, 1700s, because they've been tracking about how planets align when we have a full moon, uh, when Mercury appears to be reversing through a telescope, and, and so it's based on communications. And there is a lot of technology wonkiness that takes place. Uh, and it goes back to what Nikola Tesla talked about. If you want to unlock the secrets of the universe, start to think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. And I've been on the air for six years now, six seasons of Inspired Living Radio. And during Mercury Retrograde, I'm, I'm always prepared because it, it's you know just trying to connect to the servers or my, my headset or my mic, and, and things get wonky. But check your details. Check their details. Don't sign important documents or contracts. Don't purchase big ticket items during Mercury Retrograde. Uh, and again, that goes through the 18th of October, so we've got a couple weeks of this. Uh, expect technical difficulties. Like I said, there is some rhyme or reason reason to it. I've, wa I've watched as a numerologist. I watch patterns. I watch trends. And it's almost like there is a glitch in the matrix. Uh, be careful with your communications. <coughs> I find that people can be very uh, sensitive or argumentative or opinionated during Mercury Retrograde. So I kind of go into um, a shell, if you will, if you will, of those of us that are empaths or sensitives or psychics or mediums, we know that this is a time not to really do a lot of stuff. So, you know, just be careful with your um, communication, start, you know, stave off any arguments 
with kindness, uh, just kind of go with the flow, you know, reflect, reflect and plan for the future. That's what I'm doing as I get ready to get close to the end of the year. I take the month of December off. So if you want to book a reading with me, uh, make sure to go to MarkLeanHart.com or Internet Search Intuitive Prospector. That's how you can get on my online calendar to see what I have available. I am pretty much booked out most of October now into November, and then I know by the mid of November I'll get the last reading so that everybody knows that I closed down. I go on my spiritual maintenance month, including my spiritual development group. My, my senior uh, students lead that. Um, I don't do any readings. I don't do any radio. I completely go off grid. So, and that's me reflecting and planning for what's coming up in 2022 from a numerology standpoint, from a psychic standpoint, from what I see uh, coming. And there, we've got a lot of things coming ahead of us from a psychic forecast, just so you guys know. Not to be a fear monger or doom and gloom or an alarmist, but there are some really historical transformative things that are going to start to unfold that we're going to start to see, uh, especially when it comes to politics. I don't pick, I, I pick my country over party. Um, I don't get into politic rants, uh, so whatever you support, that's whatever you support, what you condone, you own. Uh, but that's going to start to reveal itself in some pretty big ways, some pretty historical ways, uh, more environmental uh, shifts from what we're seeing, and just release of information that is going to you know, continue to transform um, this country and this world because we're going through a great transformation. Um, lot, a lot of you have talked about the, uh, the age of Aquarius. It, it was here in 2019. I said 2020 was going to be a quite a 2020. Gonna, it was going to come in like a lion, and it did. Uh, we're going to now want to forget 2020, hindsight 2020. Um, but just get ready because there's some big things that are coming uh, for us in transformations. The great resignation of people not going back to their normal jobs that they used to. Um, the awakening on a global scale for uh, the, the, the climate and the planet. Uh, things that are happening um, with government is going to start to be revealed. Um, Antarctica, I keep having visions about uh, big reveals from Antarctica. Of course, you know that I believe in, in uh, first contact and little green men and uh, ufology and more information coming around that we're not alone in the universe. And those are transformative um, when they finally do officially come out. So, um, you know, just part of the path of what I see in my visions and, you know, and unfortunately you guys know that fault that follow my work and thank you to the 35,000 followers of the intuitive prospector page. Thank you so much. Wow. I'm just very honored and humbled that there's that many people interested in what I do. Um, and I've talked about a national divorce here in the United States of America and a second civil war. And it seems like that's where we're going, but wouldn't it be interesting, you know, because the other prediction I talk about is the great coming together and maybe it's through the social media platforms because that's what I use social media for now is platforms of positivity. And that whistleblower, if you watch 60 Minutes last night, Facebook's in a lot of trouble. There's going to be some regulations coming and maybe that's what needs to happen to start putting, pulling people together because I've seen over the uh, last uh, two to three years that social media has torn people apart based on rants and opinions and politics and this pandemic and wearing a mask not wearing a mask, science behind vaccinations, anti-science about, you know, not taking the vaccinations. So it's going to be, um, there's more to come. Let's just say that. And I've got a prediction show that I'll do in, in January of 2022 that I always do for radio and my article uh, or my newsletter, Soul Adventures, if you want to get on my uh, uh, newsletter called Soul Adventures or subscribe to my YouTube channel. So that's a little bit just on Mercury retrograde and really Really quick, I want to talk about what I um, want to share with you today is about something that helps me, uh, something working with your emotional intelligence, and it's a way to avoid uh, distraction, achieve more focus, and get more done uh, with what you're trying to do in life. Now, this is a concept that um, I believe it was Warren Buffett. Uh, I could be wrong. I'm sure somebody would let me know if I'm wrong. But it's about, you know, when you when you start to do something, you know, a major project in your life, think about the things that you want to accomplish, your bucket list, your your life list, and you get you're excited and you know this is the this is a thing that's going to be great, right? And as the months go by, the project never gets finished. We see this in business a lot. We, I see this in my job a lot. I hear about this um, a lot where we start these really great projects and everybody's excited and and then they just kind of fall off and they lose their energy, they lose their luster, if you will. And, you know, um, you may even establish, you know, at work what your project is, and that's your number one goal. Um, but why aren't you further along? And, you know, the short answer of it is um, we get distracted. And that's the one thing I've learned with time management. I've written papers about it. 
there's a lot of things that I want to do in life. And, you know, when people talk to me or interview me, they're like, gosh, you know, uh, you've done a lot of stuff. And I have really, but, you know, not even being 50 yet. Um, I feel like I've done a lot of different things. I've experienced a lot of different things. I've traveled the world. Um, I've met lots of interesting people. I've had lots of interesting experiences. And I feel like I've, I've kind of had the experiences of like an 80 or 90 year old. So if I was to die today, I'm, I'm happy with where I'm at. But I want to just continue to get more stuff done. And, you know, that's the, the three D's of success, right? Determination, dedication, and drive. And that's where I've always been. And, and, you know, I start to get a lot of different projects and I learn through time management. And I read a book called The Sacred Six uh, by J.B. Glossinger, which was really helpful too. So the four agreements and the sacred six. But what happens is, is you have so many things that you want to do in life that you get distracted. And especially today, there's a lot going on with the latest app on your, your, your iPhone, uh, Facebook, social media, um, this pandemic, there's a lot of distractions. And, you know, you, you know, maybe it's just countless meetings that are getting in your way or your countless relationships that keep coming back. Uh, you know, and you might just say to yourself, you know, let me just do these other things first, because they're quick and easy or because they're more fun. And it's a no brainer, right? But that's the trap that I often fall into. Uh, because I'm like, I'm going to spend time, like I'm trying to write my papers. I'm now, um, I'm now an ordained reverend and minister. And I took time to complete that. That was a, that was one of my major uh, goals. I'm writing papers right now from uh, my accreditation in spirituality and mediumship and platform demonstration of mediumship through the spiritual national. And that's another top priority, but it, you know, you got to write these papers and go in front of, you know, peer reviews and boards and and it's a lot of time and energy. And I, you know, keep getting, you know, sidetracked by other, you know, the radio show and guests and, and my readings and my spiritual work. And I have a day job, guys. I teach at the hospital here at Harborview. I work for the federal government part time. So, you know, it's, it's a trap that I often fall into. But when I come back to what I call the 25-5 rule, so 25, and here's, here's how it works. Let's, let's, let's break this down. Uh, but before we break it down, let's break it down with some coffee. It's always important to have coffee for Metaphysical Mocha Mondays, where we're here every Monday morning at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, followed by the cafe, uh, which might be the Healing Cafe, the Encouragement Cafe, the Inspiring Cafe, the Compassion Cafe. Today, it's going to be the Encouragement Cafe. So make sure to join me over uh, on the Intuitive Prospector page. Right after this show ends, this goes over to my YouTube channel, and then we come back and... Um, Good morning to my team behind the scenes, and we do live readings. Questions, you can come in and have Q&A with me. Uh, I'm an open book, really, So, um, but no trolls or bots or clickbaiters, so you'll get, you'll get banned out. So, um, But let's talk about the 25-5 rule and what that incorporates for time management and especially for emotional intelligence. So here's how it works. The 25-5 rule helps you to maintain focus, and you guys can see that I'm a huge Star Wars fan, and one of my mantras is your focus determines your reality. Your external world has a direct impact on your internal world. I have learned that in, in spirituality, metaphysics, psychic, mediumship. It, it definitely does. Mercury retrograde, full moons. There are things just because you don't see them doesn't mean they're not there. The microscope has changed how we see the world. The telescope has changed how we see the world. And I personally believe as we start to awaken and transform as us as humans, as we start to open up with our abilities and gifts of clairsentience, clairvoyance, psychic, which means of the soul, uh, intuition, uh, mindfulness, um, awareness. These are all things that are helping us to, uh, you know, connect into who we are at a bigger scale. And, you know, with that comes emo emotional intelligence. And what you want to do is you want to make a list. So there's, if there's a, if there's 25 things, if you know that you we're all terminal, right? At the end of the day, we're another day older. And at the end of the day, we're all going to have to pay our taxes and death is coming to us all, right? So we always say that we're really just walking each other home and we're terminal along the way. So what do we want to do with the time that we have? Because time here, time is your greatest commodity. That is not, not your wealth. Your health is important. Your health is your wealth, but your time, because time is not guaranteed to today. Somebody did not open their eyes today, this morning, watching the show, somebody transferred into the spirit world. Uh, you know, I've done podcasts where on average pre pandemic, that about 50,000 souls a day leave the planet around the world from all from sickness to car accidents, to heart attacks, to just freak accidents. 
uh, to cancer, you know, the list goes on and on and on. So for me, in my mind, that tells me just how fragile life is and how grateful I am to be alive. But I want to get so much stuff done. Like I said, I'm like Alexander Hamilton. Uh, um, if you've ever seen the play Hamilton, one of my favorite plays of all time now, um, it's about, you know, writing like I'm, I'm running out of time. So what you want to do is you want to make a list of, now this could be 25 career goals if you're on a career path. Uh, this could be 25 things that you want to accomplish in your life. Maybe you want to write a book. Maybe you want to, uh, you know, um, write a song. Maybe you want to make a movie. Maybe you want to travel to a location around the world. So make th this either 25 career goals or 25 things that you want to accomplish for your personal soul adventure. And then circle the top five goals of that. But here's the interesting part, okay? The idea is to remain focused on accomplishing goals one through five. And you have to stay completely away from working on goals six through 25. Now, that's easier said than done. What's the lesson? It's all about focus. Like I said, it's all about you're not going to accomplish all of those 25 things. You might, but you won't get to enjoy them to the full effect if you just focus on one through five. Circle those one through five goals, career goals, bucket list, life list, whatever you want to call it. And if you really want to focus on long term, you can do those three to five big ones in your life. And then you're not having to focus so much on number six through 25, because those are the things that you're interested in, but they're also the biggest potential distractions in what you're trying to do. So the key is not the numbers 25 and five, it's the principle behind the numbers. And as a numerologist, five, we're in the year of the five, 2021, but five also means freedom, love, adventure, in numerology philosophy. And numerology is about 11,000 years old as far back as we can date. Uh, but it's also, it's easy to come up with those things that you really want to do, but it's even easier to get distracted from actually making progress on those things because you're caught up in the excitement, the joy, the newness, the short term of it. Um, and they're simply not as important. So, you know, it's important to identify the less important things to you so that you know exactly what's holding you back or distracting you or time management. And it's very helpful for emotional intelligence because, you know, like I read in the sacred six, if you start doing more than six projects, he talks about the six and six is a very uh, spiritual number. Uh, uh, Nikola Tesla talked about the powers of three, six and nine all the time. And six, if you start to do more than six projects at one time, and that's me, cause I have like eight or 10, I'm like time out. Focus on what you're trying to do, Mark. Focus on this. Focus on that. Because once you go past six, you do lose your focus. You don't cross your T's. You don't cross your or dot your I's. And the things that you were once excited about actually become distractions from the things that you're trying to do. So how to apply the 25-5 rule? Uh, something that, I, you know, um, that I've been using for a long time. And it's a reminder for me. And I hope that it's a reminder for you today uh, that it doesn't change, um, you know, the fact that, the, the lesson is gold and we're all here to learn. Life is learn it from experience. And you know, that's, that's, that's the intuitive prospect. That's why my company and my spiritual practice is literally called the intuitive prospector because it's not just about prospecting for psychic and mediumship and intuition and metaphysics and medicine and meditations and mindfulness. It's about uncovering things of the world that we may not see or yet to experience what's coming our way to find that diamond within because we know that diamonds are created with extreme pressures they're coal or um, you know that are in the darkness and over time that coal with the, the extreme pressures unveiled and unearthed and it's a it's a beautiful diamond there was a lady that just found I think she was hiking in one of the volcanoes I can't I don't remember where it's at maybe somebody had read this uh, story but I caught it on my smart news um, and she was hiking and she actually found a 4.2 carat yellow diamond millionaire uh so that's kind of cool so but that that what i'm saying is that yellow diamond just didn't happen overnight it was created with extreme pressures um and then finally unearthed itself and she found it so 4.2 carats i'm not sure what that would go for but um she's going to come into a lot of money but you know for example every morning don't just make a list of what you need to get done make a list of all the things that you want to do or that others want you to do, that's important. That will keep you from working on your priorities. I get a lot of requests. I get a lot of, uh, you know, right now I've got a deadline for an article that I'm due uh, for West, uh, West Seattle. Um, I'm supposed to get my newsletter out. I got to get my write-up out for my radio show. 
Um, so these are things I need to do, but they're not a priority for what I want to do on the things in life. So, you know, you can, um, you can do the same thing when creating lists for your weekly, quarterly, and long-term strategy goals. I don't want you to take away from your goals. Uh, that's not what I'm saying. Um, but in the end, the goal is trying to teach yourself is to not make more lists. Uh, rather, you want to train yourself to ask the following questions. What are the actions that are keeping you from reaching your goals? How can I avoid them at all costs? So the next time that you find yourself getting distracted, losing focus, out of balance, just remember the 25-5 rule. Um, you can switch your focus from what you could be working on to what you should be working on. So that's just a little nugget, a little gold nugget for today. Uh, it's called the 25-5 rule. Uh, it's something that I have to remind myself because I get so busy with everything that I want to do. But again, at the end of the day, there's just not enough time in the day for what I want to do. I want to play my guitar more. I want to get out and hike more, uh, especially with the, uh, the fall season changing and the color of the leaves. Uh, we're going to try to get out this week if I can. Um, I want this pandemic to get over. I want us to get, you know, working back as a society and, and, and having respect for one another and seeing different perspectives of who we are versus this, all this infighting and chaos and misinformation and, and, and death and dying. I mean, right now, every morning I wake up just with gratitude for being alive and that I haven't been impacted by COVID uh, because COVID did come to my families. It impacted both my family, my wife's family. Uh, we almost lost somebody very close to us. Uh, so that was very stressful. I have lost friends and colleagues to COVID. Um, but as of right now, when I wake up, one of the things that I love to do is have an attitude for gratitude because I wake up, I'm human just like you. And there's, you know, it's gray here in Seattle. And so it's kind of like, uh, I want to get the day going. But I try to find ways to have an attitude for gratitude and, the, and, and the, the grateful eight things. And again, eight is infinity. I'm a life path eight. So I try to find eight things that I'm thankful for today. Just being able to take a warm shower, have clean drinking water, have be able to share this platform with you. Um, it's going to be interesting to see where Facebook goes after this whistleblower on 60 Minutes last night, uh, because you know social media has been a great distractor of misinformation, promoting anger, promoting um, you know dissonance, promoting um, insurrections. Uh, and I'm really trying to use my platforms for positivity. And over the last, you know, 18, 24 months, it's been quite a lesson for me because I've had to clean my friends list who I thought were my friends and weed in my garden. I've had people come at me with just uh, ignorance and cognitive dissonance and narcissism and gaslighting. Look those up if you don't know what those are. Uh, Anti-science, I work in healthcare. So, you know, the things that I'm talking about, I know what I'm talking about because I actually do them. I actually work here at Harborview. Uh, in Seattle, I've been doing that for almost 25 years, but yet some people just, you know, think I'm just trying to influence them based on my opinions. And I'm like, no, this is actual science. These are studies. These are peer reviewed. They're medical journals. Um, you know, so when I wake up, I go right to the COVID, uh, COVID list and to see, you know, who transferred over from the physical life into the spiritual world. And as of right now, 701, 701, 192, 22 people have already passed over from COVID today. That's here in the United States. There's over 46 million, or I'm sorry, 43 confirmed uh, cases of COVID, 43 million. And globally, we're now at 4.8 million around the globe. Numbers that I didn't, I don't think should have happened, but this is free will and choice. This is what this is, this pandemic is teaching us. It's not only teaching us, it's transforming us. It's changing society. It's changing beliefs. It's changing viewpoints. It's changing behaviors. So, you know, I wake up every morning and I look at the numbers to see what the charts are telling me, what the data is telling me, because I look at the world, not only from a physical standpoint, but from a metaphysical standpoint, from patterns and trends and numerology and consciousness. And that's what I'm telling you, the months ahead, you know, as COVID starts to wane and we get more better science with a pill, more vaccinations. Um, and of course, there's always going to be this fight of, you know, I'm not taking the vaccination, which is your, your right of free will and choice. But don't participate in public health care. Don't participate in public education because that's democracy. And there's going to be more infighting based on this. And um, there's going to be more rough months ahead from you know, my psychic forecast, including what I see the change of the United States. This pandemic is going to change the United States. Politics, pride, and pandemics are going to change the empire of the United States. Now, some people don't like to hear that, but people you know, call me crazy or they come to me for advice. 
uh, whether it's you know based on stocks, whether it's based on their careers, their relationships, wanting to talk to a loved one who's no longer here, and on the and on the spiritual spectrum, um, and that's just I, I, that's acceptance in the in the uh, comfortability I've had to come into. Um, but man, there is just some really mean people out there, some very vile, uh, narcissistic people out there that will attack you. And you just have to rise above it, guys. You have to make a 25, five list of five people that you want to be around. And then, you know, maybe 25 people you don't want to be around. So that's the thing that it's taught me. And so I use the 25, five rule for my career. I use the 25, five rule for my spiritual practice and my radio show. And I use the 25, five rule for the people in my network of people that I want to be around as I get older and, you know, and see the world for what it is. So I hope that helps in some form, fashion. Um, we'll get ready for the encouragement cafe this morning. I want to say thanks for uh, hanging out with me this morning, having some coffee uh, again, uh, visit the events page. We've got a, a two events coming up. Uh, that will be my last events uh, for this year. Um, if you want to ever visit my spiritual development group, please send me a personal message for visitors passes. The group's almost is almost maxed out, so I don't let the group get bigger than 20 and we're almost there. Uh, but I do allow visitors to come in and then you can be on a wait list uh, for the next quarter. Um, if you want to work on spiritual development, which is psychic intuition, uh, mediumship, awareness, meditations, mindfulness, it all encompasses um, that. If you want to mentor, I offer a mentorship program now for specifically mediumship. Uh, and connecting to what is unseen. Again, if you want to learn more about who I am, my education, my background, what I do, you can find me at marklanehart.com. Uh, you can find me at Best American Psychics, Best Psychic Directory, Aerial Spiritual Community. And you can also uh, ask your Alexa. I have Alexa right here, but I've changed. I had to turn it off and say computer. So if I say computer, computer, she'll turn on. Um, but you can ask uh, Alexa to open up Positive Living and you get spiritual tips from me uh, kind of like the tips I'm offering you today, that 25-5 based on focus, because your focus does determine your reality. So you can say, uh, Alexa, open up Positive Living, and you can get those. You can find my podcast, Inspired Living Radio, on all the major channels, whatever your favorite uh, podcasting channel is, Google Podcasts, iTunes, YouTube, SoundCloud. Uh, we have two guests coming up this month. Really looking forward to the uh, topics and the, uh, um, the information that they're going to be presenting on Inspired Living Radio. But again, go to marklanehart.com. That's your one-stop shop to get to everything, latest article, newsletter, all that good stuff. Book a reading uh, before I uh, shut down. But I just want to say thanks for hanging out with me this morning. Enjoy your week. Stay focused. Stay positive. Use that 25-5 rule in your personal journey. I also use the four agreements. Uh, that's been always very beneficial and helpful uh, for my journey, uh, especially with everything going on. Practice breath. Practice compassion, practice the Lord's prayer, you know, Lord, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage for the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. That's been really playing on my heart this last few months, uh, because there's a lot out there in the world that I can't control. The chaos, the pandemic, the politics. Um, I want to see people successful. I want to see people healthy. I want to see people happy. Um, and so we just have to keep moving forward. Uh, with positivity, a focus of compassion and caring and kindness, even when it's not demonstrated back, that's rising above. Um, and you, using this platform, uh, Facebook, YouTube, iTunes, uh, or I'm sorry, um, not iTunes, Instagram, TikTok, follow me over on TikTok. I do something completely different on TikTok. It's a lot of fun videos, nothing like this. And uh, thank you to the 580 followers already. It's been fun. And thank you to the followers of this page. I really appreciate uh, you tuning in and hanging out with me and just, you know, stay safe out there. Stay, uh, stay in love if you can. Um, there's a lot more that's going to start to unfold, unfortunately. Um, and um, I hope that, you know, eventually we get to this great coming together. But I also realize with in order to have a great coming together, that means that there's going to be something that, you know, precedes that um, their triggers or catalysts to get people to really, you know, start coming together. And maybe it's social media, maybe it's social media that we really